and then you made the transition to business side. I'm curious uh, for you, what's harder to do? Is it harder to be on the business side or was it harder to be uh, more in the fight game and train? Um, I I'll have to say that it's it's equally challenging. Um, you know, when you train for a, a fight, you've got to put in your 100%, um, and you're thinking you're thinking about yourself, and and you you have to stay focused. Um, and on the business side, you think about everybody and not just you. Um, and it, there's there is a lot of work. You know, there's so many different aspects in in you know taking care of this business and and wanting it to grow. And and when you know. Comparing it to preparing for a fight, um, you know, you, you just focus on yourself, really. Um, so I, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, but I, I can tell you this. I, you know, I, as I watch these fights, each time I, I always want to be in that ring still. I, you know? Get the itch. <laughs> I do. The, the do fire never goes away. Do you actively scout? Like, do you actually go out and try to scout the fighters to decide who to bring into the promotion? Yes, I do. So I that kind of might help that bug a little bit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got an eye for talent, that's for sure. And <laughs> we've seen, you know, what you and Scott have done with Lion Fight and just how it's grown over the last few events is amazing and obviously the deal with Access TV. And tonight you have the middleweight title, Yad. And, uh, you know, Yad, this question is for you, Yad. Where, uh, if you, when you win tonight or if you win tonight, the fight, where does this rank for you as uh, with all the other titles you have? How important is it for you to win the Lion Fight title tonight? So he say any bill he got is the same. It's my, it's, it's my. It's, it's the same, the same thing. Nothing, nothing big thing. But he, he happy with it. So same it thing. ranks up there with all the other belts. The same. Yat Sinclair, you know, uh, you spoke a little bit about you know retiring possibly here in the near future, and uh, your coach and actually your interpreter who's interpreting for us. He, he's a legend just like you, uh, Jong Sun Young Fairtex, one of the best fighters ever. Now, you, now you're coaching. When you're done, when you hang him up, are you going to look into getting into coaching as well? Uh, I you got you to gotta translate it I all. You got to tell him that I called you I'm, a legend. I'm, I'm not coaching him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, so I'm just hold him out sometime because like a tradition you're talking about, right? From Fairtex to here, I'm, I'm a one from there too. But now the business is a different thing. I can't do that one even. Because now I work with, with, with another gym out. So we come to here like my, like my brother, another mother. So every time we come to America, I come here to hold him out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to excuse him. I'm not train, I'm not his trainer, but he's trainer in Thailand. No, no, but you, but you just dropped my, I'm his brother from another <laughs> mother. I heard that. That's what's up. Yeah. No, my question, though, is that, you know, you were, you know, a former world champion, one of the, one of the greatest fair text fighters of all time, and now you're a coach. When when Yatsin Clyde hangs him up, is he going to look to go into coaching himself as well? Okay, if you want to start, you want to be a trainer, right? It's... If you don't know what to do, 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 you don't know what to do. He said, if you have nothing to do, if, if, if I have another job for, for, for look good for me, I should be good. I should be a trainer too. <laughs> awesome. And, and another thing I wanted to ask about is uh, I saw some pictures online uh, of you training with, uh, you're one of my favorite fighters, and another one of my favorite fighters is Carnage, Nathan Corbett. Um, I saw some pictures online of you training with, with, with Carnage. Uh, how, how was that experience like? So, So, so he said Nathan Combat is big name too and happy with it to trip with him and then he cried that he, he can make it happen one time. Very cool. And now Christine, for you on that note, when are you bringing uh, Carnage over here to Lion Fights? Oh, you put know you on, I put you in the hot seat right there. Cause I lo hey, but she it's squirmed rare, a little bit. It's <laughs> rare you see someone honestly who can knock people unconscious continuously with elbows, who can mix in elbows, 
like their punches in a combination. You know, he throws like an overhand, left hook to the body, left uppercut elbow, right elbow, left hook. I mean, it, it's, it's something impressive to see. As you can tell, I'm kind of a fan. <laughs> <laughs> it al it's almost as if I'm going to bring him just for you, right? I will, yeah. hey, you know, I would be <laughs> yeah, eternally right? indebted. Special. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just say I, I'm not turning down the idea. Okay. Um, it, it all depends on how I can work it together, uh, you know, with, with his management and, and our business plan. How hard is that, you know, uh, not dealing with fighters? Because fighters are, you know, they're pretty easy, but it's, it's the hard part is, is dealing with the managers. And, 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 and talk about that experience and how difficult that can be as, as a matchmaker. It, well, it, what, what is difficult about it is I do talk to the fighters as well. You know, a lot of the fighters are my friends. So, and, and uh, the managers, it, it's just funny because managers and fighters, they don't, they're not on the same level most of the time. You know, the fighter wants to fight, the manager doesn't want to fight, or, or vice versa. Right. You know, uh, so that's really what the challenge is. Um, I, I deal with it all the time. I deal with it all the time, but somehow I work it out. You know, if it, we really want the fight, if fans want to see the fight, um, then I do whatever I can to make it happen. Well, you, you've got Yodson Clay, the arguably the greatest tie fighter of his generation. Yeah. Um, Artem Levin fought here. Uh, Kevin Ross, one of the greatest American Muay Thai fighters. Tiffany Van Sos, one of the, the best up-and-coming prospects in all kickboxing. Who are you looking for next? Who, are, who, who do you have your eye on? Who are you looking to bring over You know that's out there right now that just really impresses you, that, that you feel represents everything that Lion Fights is all about? A, that's a tough question. Yeah, you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> now you're putting me on the spot here. Um, you know, we're really, really trying to push um, Americans um, on this card. And it, it, it is kind of tough because, you know, we're still kind of on a, a lower level than, than the rest of the world that, you know, that's that's advanced in Muay Thai. Right. Um, so I am. I am looking. Um, and we... Uh, in this fight, we have some pro qualifiers. It's something that I had just started, um, you know, in, and that's how we're going to build our, our, our next pro fighters. What next? The next fight we've already got signed, uh, Nick Chastine. He's he's from Phoenix, Arizona, and he's a kid. You probably don't know who he is, but you know, once we put him on the card, once you see him on television, um, you're 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 going to love what you see, and um, you're not going to know who these guys are until they, you know until you see them. So when, so when the when the fights first start tonight, uh, you know the main card starts at seven, but there's an undercard that's a lot of amateurs. And so what I'm gathering is what you're saying is you're using that undercard, that amateur circuit, to kind of find a, a, and locate hot upcoming prospects that haven't turned pro, and then you want to bring them in, up in your own organization, groom them, and bring them to the spotlight. So they, they're your Lion Fights branded fighters. You are on the dot with that. I, that's Damn. Perfect description. You got I'm it right. money. <laughs> and, and I, I really like the idea of tonight's card. You, sh you, you know, you're showcasing the North American fighters. I mean, the fight of Kevin Ross and, and Embry is one that fans have been anticipating for, for quite a while. It's going to be off the charts. Tonight's whole card, I'm really excited for it. Uh, you know, e even uh, Dr Jason Andrada, you got a lot of guys on the card, Vegas local. Uh, it's going to be a, a slam, bam night. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I is, like the emphasis is. on the bam. He wasn't just a slam. <laughs> it was, it was there's a no slam, slams. It's just going to be bams on the face. <laughs> and, 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 and we do have pop filters on all the microphones, so you know that was Phil really laying into it. Well, you know, real quick, Christine, because, again, we are talking with Christine Toledo, who is Lion Fight VP of Events and also Matchmaker, as well as Yachtson Clive Fairtex. Uh, and, Christine, now the, tonight, the fact that tonight is also the inaugural uh, middleweight world championship for lion fight promotions how important would it be for yodson cly to take this just given the fact that he is so internationally known how important how important is it is it us? is it good for the lion fight promotion to have somebody like yodson cly be the inaugural middleweight absolutely, champion absolutely absolutely he is he, he is lion fight um and you know he's Muay Thai all over him. He's he's world class. He's you know look at him. He's he's a humble guy. He's a great guy. Um, yeah, it, it is really important to us. And it, it would be the kind of thing really that the promotion would I I would assume as you're developing these ranks of professionals, but having a champion of Yadsen Klai's ilk uh, would, would be I think a great place to start off. You know and really start to you know re-energize this momentum that you guys have brought forth to the surface. Right. I, well, and you know, just having Yod's name out there is, you know, people will take, you know, people take us very seriously. Right. You know, you, we're not just putting any guy out there for the title. Um, there's there's sanctioning bodies that, that do that just kind of want to create their own champions, and and we're taking the best of the best here, and that's really important to us, and that's how, you know, we want people to see us. That's how we're branding 
Lion play. Excellent. Well, uh, Christine Toledo, Yadson Clay, Fair Text, uh, thank you both very much. And of course, to you, my friend, uh, for coming on and joining us here on the MMA Fight Corner. We're about ready to wrap up our first hour here on the live stream. We've got another hour to go on live stream. Then we're going to be broadcasting on Sports 920 from 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, Yadson Clay, best of luck tonight. We uh, I hope that you have a great fight. Give the fans an amazing show. We'll be really looking forward to it. And, Christine, thanks so much for coming on with us as well. Thank you for having us. This was fun. It's our pleasure. <laughs> uh, that, of course, was Christine Toledo and Yadson Clay Fairtex. Yadson Clay going to be fighting Chike Lindsay for the inaugural Lion Fight 10 middleweight championship. And I know that, uh, speaking for myself, everybody here on the corner, uh, we're super stoked to uh, okay. to see the fight tonight. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, hour two of the MMA fight.